What is your name? I'm Mike E. Winfield. Mikey, what is your age? Oh, so I'm like 20s to like 30s and stuff, you know, all right. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm originally from Baltimore. I did adequate time in Sacramento, a lot of love. What do you do? You know what, I tell jokes, you know. How long you been doing this? Over 15 years. So do you even remember the first time you step on a stage? Oh my gosh, do I remember? Yeah, it was a Tuesday night open mic and I get on stage with bright lights and arms crossed, and now they're all staring at me, and I just kind of freeze. <laughs> so the fact that I came back, that means there's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay, so show us what is wrong with you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. I, uh, I, uh, I love older moms. <laughs> like, I like it when her kids just moved out. <laughs> I can set up my computer in the extra bedroom, you know? <laughs> I got married to an older woman. Uh, I got a stepson. It's cool being a parent to a kid that's close to your age. <laughs> I call him Step Man. <laughs> he drove me here. <laughs> that's my step homeboy, man. And it's a weird dynamic if you see it. He's like 6'2 with chest hair. I don't have any, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Teenage boys can be gross. You know when they're doing inappropriate stuff on their laptop, because when you walk in on them, they'll slam it down really fast and then ask you some irrelevant question. <laughs> I walk in on Stepman, he's like, who's running for Congress? <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh, step man. I quit my job at the grocery store. Step man's like, what are we gonna do for money, Step Mike? I'm like, hey, <laughs> don't worry about it, okay? And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm Mikey Winfield. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Look at these people. Oh, they sharing it all. Look at this. Wow. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't think there's anything else to say. They love you. Oh, I man. love you. Thank you. It's amazing your energy, your smile. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, thank you. Howie. Everything you say is memorable, is authentic. Your thank smile, you. your persona, you're great. You're great. Wow. Wow, I appreciate it. Heidi, you are fantastic. And then there's this face. Thank you. Look at his face. <laughs> that face is just so cute. Why don't you mention his face? Isn't his face so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you have a real star quality about you, he Mike. He does. You really do? Yes. Absolutely. We could never do this show without an audience, particularly with an act like yourself, and this audience loved you. I mean, you could tell that. Thank you, Simon. Thank you all. I appreciate you. And Mike, look, we always say an audition on this show, two minutes literally can change your life. Maybe this is one of those auditions. So I've got a good feeling about you. Thank you. Well, we're going to start voting. Simon. Yes. Me, yes! Yes! Four yeses! Oh yes, yes, yes! We did it! We did it! Appreciate you.
Dad. Thank you. That kid's a star. I mean, yeah. I think he's one of my favorite comedians that I have seen in these three so. seasons. I yeah. think so. <laughs> yeah, we did it! Let's walk home! <laughs> AGT, baby! I'm Hayden Crystal. It's so oh, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Now, what are you going to be doing here on AGT? I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. So when did you decide you were funny? We'll see what the feedback is today. <laughs> I was born deaf into a family that does not sign, and they're all hearing, so it's just me. So communication has always been something that I have struggled with. I think early on, I've found that comedy is a language everyone understands. If I say something and you laugh at it, that's a connection. I always love that feeling. Why AGT? This is one of the biggest stages in the world, and watching some of the people that AGT has been given opportunities to, has given me more confidence to pursue this for myself. America's Got Talent, it's my mom's favorite show. We watch it together growing up, and it's surreal to be here. I'm like gonna cry thinking about that. To be auditioning for America's Got Talent, that has been the dream for me. All right, Hayden. Who's the judge you wanna impress the most? Honestly, I'm really hoping that Heidi likes my dress. Oh, that's it, that's I it. I picked it specifically, so we'll see. All right, see. go on out and make your dream come true right now. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank you, go right on up. Hi. Good evening, how are you? I'm totally kidding. Not about the sign language, that part is real. I am working with an interpreter tonight. I am really hard of hearing. I perform my sets in English, but I do like to start that way because it does make heckling me an ADA violation. Uh, so. Oh, oh. Hello. What's your name? How Hello, are Jean. you tonight? Oh, I'm good. My name is Hayden Crystal. I'm a comedian. Um, I'm actually a touring comic right now. But part of why I wanted to come to America's Got Talent is watching so many other comics with disabilities come here and succeed before I did, like Drew Lynch, um, DJ Demers years ago. Uh, yeah. When I see other people with disability on this stage and thriving, I know that they were given the tools to be able to succeed here, um, which is not, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so Thank you. much then for being here tonight. We're ready for you. Thank you, okay, I'm gonna start. Um, so I dual majored in college. Um, I studied sign language, uh, and which that felt like a freebie, right? Uh, <laughs> but I also majored in zookeeping. Um, which seemed like a really fun thing at the time, uh, but now I have a degree in American Sign Language and zookeeping. <laughs> and um, Coco the Sign Language Gorilla died like four years ago. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that comedy has to work out for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this has to go, guys, this has to go good. Uh, my safety net is dead, she's gone, so. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's very sad. So I actually, um, I applied to work at the Coco Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. But they, <laughs> yes, boo, the Coco Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just gonna <laughs> toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all gonna do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, thank you, I would love to know. Uh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two-second head start. 
ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing. Yeah. Thank you. Hayden, thank you so much for being here tonight. I had a great time listening to you. I love that you make fun of yourself. I was laughing the whole time. Uh, Heidi, what did you think? We have amazing comedians on the show, and I think that you would be a great addition to what we already have, so you can really battle it out with them. Simon! Um, was that a true story? Yes. I mean, it's brilliantly funny. Um, so seriously, and the fact you could turn that into a funny story, which is so crazy that they would do that. To your point, what difference does it make? You know, I, you know, I'm with you. I've been trying to start Twitter beef with them for like 10 years, so if you could just listen, I'll join you. That. I can also see this means an awful lot to you. Yeah, it's it's truly a privilege and an honor to just be here. Wow. So thank you. I'm really happy that we met. Thank you so much. I think we're gonna vote now for you. Heidi, what, what is your vote? I wanna see you more, so I'm gonna give you a first yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give you your second yes. Simon? Hayden, I'm saying yes to you, and Julie, I'm also saying yes to you. She was sweet. Hayden, talk to me. You seem very emotional. Talk to me right now. What are you feeling? Just validation from some place that really meant a lot to me in starting this. And to be here, it's unbelievable. And then I felt like I already won just making it to tonight. And that was, it couldn't have been better. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Who are you? Uh, my name is Don McMillan. I am 62 years old, and I'm from Santa Clarita, California. Yippee! <laughs> and tell us, what do you do for a living? I am a stand-up comedian. Ooh. I don't deal with any more comedians. Did you bring anyone special with you today? Uh, just my screen. I use right. my screen. Well, then you and your screen and all of us, let's have a great time together. All right. So I have a kind of interesting background. I was an engineer for many years, and I know what you're thinking. Engineer, this guy's gonna be really funny. <laughs> Somebody called me a geek the other day. I'm not a geek. I am not a geek. I'm a nerd. <laughs> and what's the difference, you ask? I actually have a Venn diagram to show you the difference. <laughs> <laughs> it takes three things to be a nerd. You have to be smart, socially awkward, and obsessed. Smart, socially awkward, and obsessed, and you are a nerd. Geeks, on the other hand, are really just smart and obsessed. They're Star Trek geeks, comic book geeks. You guys get dressed up, you go to conventions. No nerd goes to a convention unless I'm working IT support. Only reason I'm there. <laughs> At the top here, if you're smart and socially awkward, uh, you're a dork. <laughs> and if you're socially awkward and obsessed, uh, you're a stalker. That's how that works. <laughs> So because I'm a nerd, I love charts. I love a chart that explains a whole thing in one chart. Here's what's gonna happen if you're making microwave popcorn. Here's the number of edible pieces on the Y axis. <laughs> and on the X axis is the time. You're at one minutes, two minutes, no pieces have popped. Very quiet in the microwave. At some point above two minutes, you don't know where, all pieces are popped, all pieces are burnt. <laughs> okay? The bag is on fire, the smoke alarm is blaring, and your house will stink for at least a week. At least a week. That's so true. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. That is so true. 
It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> and that's it for me. Thank you so much.